All righty. Ain't it grand to be a Christian? Ain't yes, it grand? Yes, it is. We've been singing and praising and have a good time in church already. Yes. Amen. It's going to be a good time in the Lord's house tonight. I come to have yes. a good time. Amen. Like that song, a good time, a good time. I'm going to have a good time. You know, it's just purpose in the heart. Revival. Every yes. time we come to the Lord's house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I speak it and I proclaim it over us tonight. Thank you, Father. Uh, Thank you, Father. You know, we're in Proverbs. we got one more chapter after this one. We're in Proverbs 30 tonight. And uh, it's been good. It's been really good. And it's wisdom and knowledge in this book. Amen. And the more we fill ourselves with the word, the more we become like Jesus. That's Amen. Right. I don't know if y'all have seen, but I've been trying to rally everybody together in prayer at 830 every night. Amen. Amen. So 830, y'all, let's hit our knees in unity yes. in prayer. I'm trying to get everybody that I'm associated with, all my friends, all my family, everybody that I know, hey, prayer time at 8.30. All right, Amen. now it's free. I just wanted to tell you about that. <laughs> and uh, it's power in our prayers. Yes, Amen? It is, it is. So let's do it. All right, tonight, verse thir verse 1, Proverbs 30. Are you there? Amen. Say, hey. Amen. hey. Amen. All right, the words of Agur, the son of Jacob. Even the prophecy, the man spake unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel Eucal. Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy. So this portion of scripture right here in chapter 30, this, they say, is not Solomon, okay? Because he doesn't have the understanding or the knowledge. I don't know if it's him or not. All I know is this. This man was telling them, and he was being humble and saying, look, I don't have it all figured out, okay? And with that being said, I want you to look at verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell... Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Mm -hmm. So tonight, it says that these are the words of Agur, or Agur, or however you pronounce that. Amen? Now, some say that, that was, this man was kin to Solomon. Some say it was another name for Solomon. I'm not sure, but all I know is he knew who God was. I said he knew who God was. Amen. Amen. He, he called himself unworthy, unfit. He said, I'm nothing. I am more brutish than any man. I have not the understanding, but I know somebody who does. Amen. He said, I know a man who can ascend into heaven or who can descend. And I know one who can gather the wind in his fist. Yeah. Glory be to God. Come on, we're talking about the almighty God tonight. Yeah. So as we come to the house of the Lord tonight, I want to uplift his name. I want to look at who he, imagine, he gathered the wind in his fist. Come on, y'all. He hath bound the waters in a garment. Come on. Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? Glory. What is his name? I tell you what, his name is Yahweh. Amen. Come on. Not my way, but Yahweh. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then in this, you know, this is Old Testament, and he says this. And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. So that tells me right here that this man, he might not have had it all figured out. Come on. Amen. But he knew who God was. Yes. He knew him in such a relationship, in such a way that he knew he had a son. Come on, y'all. Amen. Jesus. And it says, what is his name? If thou canst tell. Every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. Glory be to God. So tonight as we, we glean from this right here, I want you to know that his word is pure. Yes. And when his word is going in those ears, come on, Amen. I want you to know that these right here, they're gates. Amen. I said they're gates. Yes. These are gates. These right here, they're gates. And what you put in, 
Come on. What you're feasting on. Come on. Come on what you're looking at. Amen. Amen. Is going to come forth. Yes, and I want you to know that when you put the word in. Yes. The I word mean. is pure. It purifies. When it goes in that gate. Come on. Yes, it God. cleans you up from the inside yes, out. Come on, y'all. Ain't he good? Thank I come you, to have Lord. revival tonight. Yes, Where you at, Josh? Amen. You, Amen. Pure. He's pure. Yes. You know what? I can't be pure on my own. No. But when I've got the Lord Jesus Christ yes. holding me. Yes. Come on. Yes. He Thank comes you. in and he holds me. He wraps that yes. garment around yes. me. Come on, y'all. Go That garment of righteousness. Woo. I was kidding with them. He's, he's holding me like two end pieces on a loaf of bread. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. He got me. Amen. Amen. He's holding on. Amen. I'm just in the middle soaking it all up. Come on, yes. y'all. It's pure. It's pure tonight. As we come to the house of the Lord, his word is pure every word. Mm. He is a shield yes, he is. under them that put their trust in him. A shield. A shield. Mm. He is a shield. Ooh. No matter what comes against us, mama. That's right. No matter. It don't matter. No. It don't matter what comes against us. I said it don't matter what comes against us. No pain, no sickness. I'm spitting on you tonight. I'll give you a bath. Come on, y'all. It doesn't matter what's coming after you. Whether it's the preacher trying to spit on you on the front row. Amen. Or the devil and his imps out there in the parking lot. Come on. We've got a shield tonight. I said we've got a shield tonight. And we don't have to worry because when we stick that thing out, ain't nothing that can come through the blood. Ain't he good? Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. All right, now. I'm excited tonight. Hey. Unto them that put their trust in him. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. See, he put a limitation on it there. Amen? He's not a shield to the world. He's not a shield to the sinful man or the sinful woman. He's a, he's a, he is a shield to the ones who's walking around and they got the pureness flowing in their lives. Come on. Pure. Y'all help me out now. Don't, don't get quiet on me now. Come on, Melvin. Where you at? Amen. Amen. The pure. It says, put their trust in the Lord. We trust on a lot of things, don't we? Amen. Come on. We trust on light switch. When we walk over there, we're going to flick it and the light's going to come on. Unless you don't let my father-in-law do some <laughs> electric, electric, uh, electrical work in your house. Amen. I'm just kidding. I still love you. Amen. We put trust in things. You trust that when you walk out there to that car and you hit the button on it, come on, that new challenger that your dad's got, you walk out there and you want to hit that key, that thing's going to fire up, amen? You're going to hear something under the hood. You're going to pack the gas. Come on. You got trust in it. You got trust in it, amen? I trust that my daddy's going to call me every day of my life. Amen. It ain't a day that goes by that my daddy don't call me and tell me that he loves me. I put trust in that. Amen? Well, you know what I got my trust in tonight? It's not in the light switch, because you might flick it, and it might not come on. It's not in a battery on a car. Come on, y'all. Come on. It's not in any man that can fail. Come on, y'all. But I put my trust in the Lord tonight, because he'll never fail me. He'll never leave me, and he'll never forsake me. And he's got me on his mind 24-7. Shield. Shield. Amen. I put my trust in the Lord. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Amen. You know, in Revelations, it tells us not to add or take away from anything in this book. Or it'd be a curse unto you. <laughs> Amen. Right. And we've got people in the church, preachers, that like to come in and they preach their own version of the Word of God. Amen. 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 I want you to know that it ain't but one version. Yes. The King James Version. No, I'm just kidding. It's only one version. It's God's Word. That's right. Amen. It's only one version. It doesn't matter what man has to say. No. That's right. It doesn't matter who wrote the commentary. No. Come on, y'all. It's what God has to say. Why? Because every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God is pure. Yes. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I said glory. Hallelujah. 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 I said glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Come on, mama. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Five second praise break. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Ain't he good? Yes, yes he's good. Hey, Miller. Miller. Miller's birthday today. You got to read.
reason to praise God tonight. Hallelujah. One more year. One more. Nanny, your birthday was Monday. One more year. Come on. Ain't he been good? Ain't he been a shield? Come on, y'all. I come to have revival tonight in the house of God with the saints of God, with my family. My family tonight. I want you to know you're my family. Yes, he's good. Man, he's good. Now, verse 7. Two things have I required of thee. Deny me them not before I die. All right, so this is Agar talking to the Lord. This is his prayer. First, he confessed who God was. Amen. First, he told us who he was. He was nothing. Then he told you what God was. Amen. He's everything. Amen. Amen. And now he's going to say a prayer to the Lord. And this is what he said. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. So it says, Look, Lord. He said, This is what I want you to do for me before I die. Take all vanity and lies. I believe he was praying this prayer of his own heart. Amen? Amen. Take all vanity out of my life. Yeah. Take every lie away. Amen? You say, what's vanity? In this portion of scripture, I believe it's being fake. Mm. Amen? Yeah. Vanity. Fake. Mm. I don't want to be a fake. No. No. Come on, y'all. No. I don't want to have that in my life. No. I don't want to be a fake and, and spreading lies. No. Come on, y'all. No. Amen. Amen? I don't want to be found around lies. You know what? I want to see the truth. I want to have pureness in my life. Come on, y'all. All vanity and all lies got to go in the name of Jesus. Amen? And then he said, give me neither poverty nor riches and feed me with, com with food convenient for me. So he says, I don't care about the riches. Amen? I, I don't want to be rich, but I don't want to be poor. I want to be even. Amen. Amen. I don't want to have it all, but I don't want to be down and out. I want you to take care of me. Amen. Amen. That way I can lean on you. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, if we've got it all, we don't tend to lean on it like we need. Amen. You got that big old fat bankroll in your pocket. Come on. You ain't got to lean on him as hard, That's do you? Right. <laughs> Amen. Come on. You, you think that, that green back right there is going to gonna do it for you. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And then on the other side, when you ain't got that bankroll and it's hurting a little bit, come on, y'all. A lot of times, instead of leaning on God, we blame God and try to take it into our own hands and do it and make something happen of ourselves. Just like she preached Sunday. I'm listening, by the way. She preached, you got to take your hand off of it and let God do it. Amen. Amen. Ain't that what she preached on? She preached on letting, taking yourself out of it, just throwing your hands up and saying, here it is, God, you do it. Just Amen. speak the word over it. Amen. And that's kind of what he's saying here. Amen. He's saying, look, I just want my needs to be met. Amen. And I want to serve you. He said, lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Mm. And then look at uh, the last part of that verse. Or lest I be poor and steal. And it says, and take the name of my God in vain. Amen. Now, he's not talking about cursing here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, we shouldn't be cursing. If you're born again, washed in the blood, your mouth is going to be cleaned up. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 But this is not what he's talking about. He's talking about taking the Lord's name. I'm a Christian. And moving in vanity with that name. Yeah. Amen. All right. So I'm a preacher, right? I'm, I'm the pastor. I'm the preacher. I'm the deacon. Come on. Sunday school teacher. I go to Clearview Gospel Mission. Come on. Amen. And you get caught down at Walmart stealing. Uh -oh. Come on. Amen. Now, what's that look like uh, on the church? Amen. Don't look too good, does it? How's that look on God? Oh, did y'all see the preacher down there? <laughs> you know, did you see the preacher down there? You see what he did? You see who he was running with? You see the preacher done run off with the piano player. 
Come on, he's laughing, but it happens. Oh, yes, it happens does. all the time yes, yes, in big yes. churches and small. Yes, Come on, y'all. Yes, Amen? Yes, Amen. So when we hold the name of God and we hold a title, if we, we call ourselves reverend. The preacher says his name is reverend. You know what reverend means? Reverend. Holy. Yes. Means holy. Reverend means holy. Yes. Reverend means holy. Amen? Come on. When we call ourselves a Christian and we're cradling that name and we're carrying that name around with us, we've got to protect it yes. at all costs. Absolutely. At all costs, we've got to protect that name because the world has seen so much fake yes, that has. they don't know what's real anymore. That's right. Amen? That's right. In the church. That's I've said this before. I've, I've learned a whole lot of what not to do in the house of God. Amen. Come on, y'all. From Christians yeah. who were... Y'all ever known any of them? Oh, yeah. Amen? Come on, y'all. Yeah. So he's saying here, look, I just want to be real with you, Lord. I don't want no lives in my life. I don't want any vanity. I don't need all of this. I don't want to be down and out. Just keep me. Just okay. keep me, Lord. Just keep me. just keep me. And I want to bear your name everywhere I go as, as holiness. Thank you. Okay? And then verse 10. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse thee, and thou be found guilty. You ever accuse somebody of something? I have. Oh, yeah. But this says, don't accuse them to the master. Amen? That's what Christians do all the time, don't they? Mm -hmm. now, come on, y'all. Yeah. Amen? We get mad at brother so-and-so, uh, we over uh, here uh, in Susan's uh, ear. Can you believe what they did? <laughs> <laughs> Amen? And then the, the woman of God has to rebuke you. Come on. And then you get all huffy and puffy and mad. Yeah. See, I can say stuff like this, amen, because I'm not the pastor here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get, hey, where's my amen is at, mom? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Accuse not a servant unto his master. Yeah. Amen. Lest he curse thee and thou be found guilty. Amen. You know what? If you'd have had your nose in the word of God or down at the oh. altar and stopped worrying about everybody else and their oh, sin and what they're committed in yeah. and you had yourself up here right with yeah. God, you wouldn't be looking at everybody oh. else. Uh, you wouldn't be worried about what's going on in their life. Uh, you wouldn't be worried about their church or this household or what they're doing, what they ain't doing uh, because our heart's on fire for God uh, and I'm not going to let anything deter me uh, from serving Him, from serving Him, from serving Him, from watching and uh, praying uh, and looking into the eastern sky because he's getting ready to break the clouds of glory and I don't got time to worry about everybody else and their sin. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. We do God the same way. Oh, Lord, help him over there. They sending a whole lot more than I am. They doing a whole lot worse than me. You better watch yourself. You better watch yourself. Come on, now. Take heed lest you fall. That's right. Amen. Because right. as soon as you get your eyes on brother so and so or sister so and so or this one or that one, on. you know what? Just like I said before, it'll be knocking at your door yeah, yeah. and it's going to yeah. carry you into captivity. Come on. That's They're right. going to put the shackles and the chains on you because yes. you're no better than they are. Glory be to God. You better have yourself yes. right with God and stop worrying about That's everybody right. else and accusing them. That's right. You want to accuse someone? Go to the mirror. And accuse that one. That's right. Amen. Amen. I, that was good. That was good. That's right. Let's say that one again. If you want to accuse somebody, go to the mirror. Yes. And point your finger right there. Okay. Amen. All right. Now, verse eleven. There is a generation. Go ahead, Shelby. And uh, I was just saying here, shaking my head. And that was my confirmation. Now, uh, I was just speaking about that to somebody today. Amen. I say if you stay out of their business, my young, you can get your your life to be a whole lot better. Amen. Come on. Come on. Right. Won't he do it? That's yeah. right. Won't he do it? Right. Won't he do it? Right. Won't he do it? Yeah. Count your blessings. <laughs> Come on, count your blessings. Name bless one by one. one. Come one on, Danny. One. Where, one. where you at over there? I gotta have a calculator for all my blessings. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Come yeah. on. Come on. You better call and account it. Yeah. Got to call and account it for all our blessings. We can't even count them up, man. You better call Jessel. Amen. Huh? Come on. Ain't he good tonight? Yeah, he's good. Verse 11. There is a generation that curseth their father 
and doeth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. We just spoke on that. There is a generation. Oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among people. Now, if that's a generation that sounds like the one of the day, don't it? Yes, it does. Amen? They don't care about their mama, don't care about their daddy, don't care about you. Come on. People don't care about you. Amen? They'll run you over in the street and keep right on the move and never blink an eye. Amen? They don't care how they speak to you, how they look at you, or what they say. Do they? Public, you can go out in public and you deal with them for just a short amount of time. And you'll see how, you know what? Go to a fair. Go to a public place where the world is there. And you see the generation of today. Amen? It's an evil generation. But I come down here tonight to tell you this. There's another generation. Yeah, Oh, there's a remnant. I said there's a remnant. Yes, it is. Hey, God's always got a man. I said God's always got a woman. Come on, God's got somebody. Amen. There might be some things going on in this generation, but I'm here to declare and I'm here to decree it right now in the name of Jesus uh, that we're the generation. Come on, church, uh, that are holy and pure. We're the generation uh, that's going going to change the world. We're the generation that's going to see revival like never before. Not talking about an old style. Not talking about glory be to God I'm spitting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're the generation tonight. Tonight that's holy and looking for the Lord to come. Come on. Count your blessings. Come on. We're going to keep on going back to that. Amen. No matter how bad it looks out there. Amen. No matter how bad it looks out there. No matter how bad the world gets. No matter. It don't matter. You know what? It's going to get worse. I'm sorry to pop your bubble tonight, but I want you to know it's going to get worse. But for a child of God. Oh, for a joint in with Jesus. Come on. He said, look up. Because your redemption drops now. Hallelujah. The worse it gets out there, come on, the worse it gets out there, the closer he is to the door. I said the closer he is to the door, he's getting ready to come back for his children. And we better be ready. Amen. Amen. Glory. The horse leech have two daughters crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not it is enough. The grave and the barren womb, the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. Now, it's a horse leech. When I thought about that, I thought about a big old tick. You ever seen them ticks on a horse? Amen? A horse tick. Monsters. They're big. Amen? Come on, y'all. You ever seen a, a tick that was on a cow or a sheep? They're never satisfied. Come on. How many of you ever had your dog out in the yard and he got a tick and you didn't see it till it got real big and fat? Amen? Big old fat tick. Just been drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. Drink. It doesn't swole up. Come on. Amen? That's what it's talking about here. Amen? Just taking and taken, and taken, and taken. That's what it says about the grave. In the Hebrew word here for the grave is shul, or shul, which means hell. Amen? Amen? Amen. So tonight, hell is never satisfied. It says it enlarges its coasts daily. Come on. Because there's millions. There's millions going. There's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people going to hell every single day. Yes. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Don't stop shouting now. That's right. And what are we doing about it? 
We're living in our own little bubble. Yeah. Amen. That's right. We're having our 15 minute prayer in our own living room. Come on. Yes. We go to Wednesday night Bible study. We glean off the word. Come on. Amen. Then we go out to eat and go home. Don't think nothing else about it till Sunday. Amen. Come on. Right. Ain't prayed about the service. Come on, church. Amen. Ain't told one person about God. That's right. One person. Ain't told one single person about Jesus. When hell, come on, is enlarged. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. It's not satisfied. It's just a pouring them on in there. And where are we at? Amen. Where are we at? Come on. We're so busy getting fat ourselves. Amen. Come on. Right. Amen? Yeah. Just like that old horse tick. Ain't never good enough. We just want to get big ourselves and get all we can from God. God, give me, give me, give me, give me. I want the house. I want the cars. I want the good stuff. I want that big fat bankroll. Amen. I want to feel good. Come on, y'all. Right. And we ain't told nobody about the Lord. Amen. That's a problem. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What are we going to do about it? Change. What are we going to do about it? We're going to change. <laughs> We're going to start telling some people. Amen. I dare you. Yes. I dare you. I dare you down at the grocery store yes. when you're handing a woman your coupons. Come on. Amen. Trying to get your little 99 cent off of her. Come on, y'all. I, I dare you to tell them, hey, I want you to know God's been good to me. That's hey, right. he brought me out. I used to drink and run the roads. Come on, Danny. Come on. When you get off at the bank, hallelujah, and you're changing that stuff in there, you're putting the light bulbs in, stay off of a ladder, glory be to God. Come on, y'all. God's been good to me. He brought me out. He saved my soul, and he'll do the same for you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Won't he do it? Hallelujah. All right. So hell, the barren womb. Amen. A woman that is barren is always looking for a child. Yep. Amen. Yep. I said amen. 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 That's true. A lot of times, jealousy comes in. Amen. Yep. Come on, y'all. This is a spiritual application here. Amen. amen. And the woman will steal all the other children. Come on. Amen? Amen? And that's what the devil's doing. He ain't got nothing for his own. He's trying to come in and steal everything else that the Lord has got. Amen? He's trying to come in and he's barren. He has no fruit. The, the devil is barren and has no fruit. Right. He has nothing good to offer you. Yeah. It's all smoke and mirrors. Yes, come on. Yes, yes. So he tries to come in and steal what you've got. Yes. Amen. He tries to take from yes, you. He and he's doing it. Yeah, he is. Because we're allowing him to. Okay. The only place the devil has room for, for me is right here under these boots. That's right. Hallelujah. Huh? Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Amen. He ain't got no room to operate in my house. Amen. Why? Because I put him in his place. Yes. Where's his place? <laughs> if I could tap dance, I'd tap dance for you tonight. Glory be to God. Amen? Come on. Amen? You ought to do it sometimes. Look, y'all. Monday night, I'm just going to testify for a minute. Monday night, I did that live stream. I prayed. It was about 30 minutes of praying. I said I was only going to pray 15 minutes. I got so fired up, Mama. I looked at the check. At the, at the check. I looked, <laughs> oh, glory be to God. I looked at the chat, and it was 9 o'clock. I done prayed for 30 minutes. I was like, all right, it's time to shut it down. Amen? Wow. So I stopped praying. I left the praise music on, and I just got up. <laughs> and I started doing me a little step. You don't believe me? Ask Abby. She'll tell you. Hallelujah. She's sitting on the couch. I'm dancing around. I can see. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was under my feet. I'm in there praising, singing that song. You got a whole two God in chaining hand. Singing, having me a good time. Abby's sitting there on the couch looking at me like I'm a fool. And then a song come on and said, You better let go and let God have his way. Hallelujah. And I looked at Abby, I said, <laughs> I looked at her, I said, <laughs> and I kept on the dancing. 
You know what happened? She got up. Yes. <laughs> she got up. She got up. Before you know it, I'm dancing around the living room. This is not a testimony of me and what I've done. This is the glory of God that fell in a living room. Come on. In a single wide trailer. Come on, y'all. From the 70s. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. The glory of the Lord. It wasn't some fancy house of God. It was an old rinky dink trailer. Come on, y'all. That we turned into an altar. Before you know it, she's got her hands lifted high. Speaking in a prayer language. I'm walking around. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we praise God for it now. Amen. Amen. I want you to know that we're not barren tonight. We've got fruit to bear. Come on. We've got fruit to bear. It's revival time in the house of the Lord. I speak revival over your house. In Jesus' name. Glory. The earth that is not filled with water and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The earth, when it is dry, it can rain in a matter of minutes. It looks like it hasn't rained. Yeah. Amen? Because yeah. it just takes it in. Amen? Yeah. And that's how the church is tonight. Yeah. The church is dry. Yeah. The church. Yeah. Daddy said something to me yesterday, and it's been resonating in my spirit. He said this, and it's an old saying. Y'all probably heard it before. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> that's what he told me that's what my daddy told me yesterday he said the squeaky wheel gets the oil yeah. I've been thinking about that thing squeaky wheel gets the oil <laughs> I'm riding around in the car man the squeaky wheel gets the oil Just over and over the squeaky wheel gets the oil well tonight I'm squeaking <laughs> hey I'm squeaking. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to be quiet. I'm going to keep on a squeaking. Come on, y'all. I'm going to keep on a squeaking. I'm going to go one more mile, and I'm going to squeak a little more. I'm going to go another mile, and I'm going to squeak a little more. And the Lord's going to keep pulling the oil on it. Go with me to God, and I'm going to keep squeaking. Come on, church. Come on. I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to sit down. I ain't going to let the devil tell me I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it in the name of Jesus, because all my strength comes from the Lord. Yes, right. Hallelujah. The fire. Glory. Let's keep moving. We got to go. We got to keep going. All right, 17. The eye that mocketh at his father and despises to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagle shall eat of it. Have you ever seen a raven eating a carcass on the side of the road? Yeah. They always start with the eyes. Come on. Amen. That's the easiest part to get into. What did I tell you, y'all? These yeah. are gates. Yeah. <laughs> These are gates. Amen? They're gates. Yeah. And you better watch what you're putting in your gates. Amen. Or you're going to find yourself dead. Come on. Amen. And instead of being a wheel, squeaking, getting the oil, you'll be a carcass on the side of the road somewhere with the ravens feasting on you. Amen. Come on. What you talking about? I'm talking about hell. That's right. Amen. Come on, y'all. So tonight, I want to honor my father. I want to honor my mother. Amen. But that goes back to the home. And see, when you're in the home, and the home is based on God, you have that reverence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And then that reverence moves over into your family and the ones around you. Amen. And you don't have to worry about being dead and dried up. And cast aside on the roadside somewhere. Come on, y'all. But you can be that wheel. Hallelujah. Amen. Squeaking and getting the old. All right, verse 18. There be three things which are too wonderful for me, yea, four which I know not. The way of an eagle in the air, the way of a serpent upon a rock, the way of a ship in the midst of the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. First thing I thought about when I read that scripture right there is Jezebel. Yeah. Yeah. Old Jezebel spirit. Have you ever heard that in the house of God? Mm -hmm. And I want you to know that a Jezebel spirit is not just for a woman, but it can be working in a man just as well. Right. I say it, it can be working in a man just as well. Amen. Right. Amen. And it says, the way of an eagle in the air, this big old, eagles are huge. Yeah, huge. How's that big thing in the air flying around? Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know what? You can't tell where it's going to go. 
Amen? Same way with a serpent on a rock. You can't tell which way that, that snake's going to go. Amen? You can't tell it. Same way with the ship and the same way with a woman and a maid. Come on. You better keep your eye on it. Amen? The same way as an adulterous woman. Amen? That's the spirit of religion. That's the spirit of Jezebel. Amen? We've got to unlearn a lot of things. That's right. Come on. So we can learn the right things. Amen. Amen. It's so many people fighting over this doctrine and that doctrine and this doctrine. I just want to hear what the, the Lord says. Amen. 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 What's the Lord say? Because his, his word is pure. Okay? For three things that the earth is disquieted, and for four which it cannot bear, for a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. For an odious woman when she is married, and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress. Amen. So these are giving us four things where it's a wicked ruling. Amen. When you get something or you come into a place that you really don't deserve, but God bless you with it anyway. Amen. We get too big for our britches. Come on. And that's what it's talking about here. It's talking about a servant when he reigns. A servant that is reigning is a harsh ruler because he was on the other side. Oh, yeah. Amen. He feels like he's been owed something. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's, right. that's how we get. Come on, y'all. Yeah. A fool when he's filled with meat. Amen. Ain't got no worries then. No. Just fly off at any minute and do anything he wants to do. Come on, y'all. Amen. An odious woman when she is married and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress. All these things rule in a way that they shouldn't. Why? Because they're not humble before the Lord. You've got to stay humble. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. The ants are people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make their houses in the rocks. The locusts that have no king, yet go they forth, all of them by bands, and the spider taketh hold with her hands as in the king's palaces. Now all four of these animals are counted wise. Yeah. You know why? Because they work together. Yeah, they do. They work together. Amen? Except for the spider. The spider doesn't work together. He's no, kind of selfish. Amen? But he's got a web. Amen? <laughs> these are counted wise because of their fruits. You see what I'm saying here? Yeah. See, the ants, they gather. They prepare. They're making fruit. As people in the house of God, we need to be gathering. We need to be preparing because the winter's coming. Amen? The tribulation is coming. And we got to be on the horn. We got to get on the horn. Hey, hey, Jesus is coming. We got to get ready. Get your little horn out. Amen? Come on, y'all. The ants, the conies. The locust, the spider, all are wise in the little things. It's the little things that spoil the what? The vine. The vine. What's a coney? The coney, there's two different things that I've seen that was a coney. One said it was like a fox in the rocks, which honestly, I really don't know. Okay? So that would be something good to look at. But that it said something like a fox, which didn't make sense to me because they don't make their houses in the rocks. Amen? Mm -hmm. So that'd be a good Bible study for you to get in there and learn about. Amen? Okay. There be, all right, verse 29. There be three things which go well, yea, four are comely in going. A lion, which is strongest among beasts, and turneth not away for any. A greyhound, and he goat also, and a king, against whom there is no rising up. <clears throat> Now, I want, to, I want to key in on verse 30 right there. When a lion shows up, he never backs down. Amen? Amen. When a lion shows up, there is a presence there. Oh, yeah. Amen? <coughs> and everything else around knows, hey, that's a lion. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Oh, yeah. It's a reason that the lion is the king of the jungle. 
Amen. Come on, y'all. It says, a lion which is strongest among beasts and turneth not away for any. It turns away not for any. Come on. A lion, big, strong. I want you to know that a lion is not little. No. Okay? A lion is a big animal. Yeah, it is. And it has a presence. <coughs> Excuse me. And it has a roar. Oh, yes. We talked about this the other night. When a lion roars, the ground shakes. Yeah. It literally shakes. The ground shakes. When a lion roars, you can hear it for a mile away. Amen? Amen. We've got the lion living in us. That's right. Yes. Amen? So when you show up, the enemy ought to say, the lion's here. Come on, y'all. Why? Because I abide in him and he abides in me. Glory be to God. Right. And when I'm that squeaky wheel that just won't be quiet, Hallelujah. come on, and I'm just a speaking, come on, y'all, and I'm a roaring, Yes. we need a sound of revival. Yes. Where's our war cries at? You ought to practice that at home. Amen. You know, when you get in your, in your mirror and you start accusing yourself, Come on, y'all. Amen? Amen. <laughs> After that, I want you to practice your war cry. Yes. <laughs> you say you ain't got no war cry. Cry. I say, yes, I do. You say, what is it? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that was slain from the foundations of the earth. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> you say you ain't got no war cry. Yeah, the word. Lord God Almighty brought me out. Yeah, he did. He yeah. set my feet on a solid Whoa. rock, yes. on a true foundation. Yes. He right. said, that ain't your, what's your, real, what's your war cry? <laughs> hallelujah, 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 glory be to God. What's your war cry? Glory be to God, glory be to God. We need a sound of revival. We can't be afraid. We can't be afraid. We've got to speak it out, glory be to God. we got to speak it out, but let it roar. Yes. Let it roar from your soul. Yes. Yes. The redemption of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Strongest and never back down from the enemy. Mm. That's right. We ain't I'm not backing down from the enemy tonight. No. Mm. Come on. I'm not talking about going out and causing a bunch of arguments. <laughs> come on. Somebody need to hear that. <laughs> you out there on the phone, you need to hear that. <laughs> hey, come on. Not to start a bunch of arguments, but to not back down from the enemy. That's okay? Right. If thou hast done foolishly in lifting up thyself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Look, you, it, you don't even got to say it. If you thought evil. Wow. Come on. Slap your neighbor and say, if you thought evil. If you thought evil. Hey. Look at your neighbor. Put your hand over their mouth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Amen? Come on, y'all. If we thought more of what we are, come on, and we've got evil thoughts against our neighbors, our brothers, our sisters, you know, sinners, whatever, come on. It's time to put a put a quick a stop to it. Instead of, instead of having those thoughts and speaking on somebody else, we need to have a war cry from the lion's mouth. Come on. Amen? And that'll do a whole lot better then you running those lips. Yes. Absolutely. Come on. Yes. Amen. And that mind. Glory. Lay that hand upon the mouth. Surely the churning of milk bringeth forth butter, and the ringing of the nose bringeth forth blood. So the forcing of wrath bringeth forth strife. Amen. So if you churn milk, you're going to get butter. You ring a nose, <laughs> you're going to get some blood. Come on, y'all. Amen. And if you're forcing wrath, you know, everywhere you're going around, you just, you got that anger and that built up inside. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to let that thing loose. Amen. Yeah. Not on your brothers and sisters Amen. or your family or your husband or your wife or your kids. Come on. Yeah. Or the grocery store clerk. Amen. Come on, y'all. Or the lady down at McDonald's. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. That was a personal joke, amen? That's right. Come on, y'all. We've all done that. Amen. Amen. amen? We don't need to do that. You know what we need to do? We need to take it to the Lord. We need to take it to the Lord. Let him handle it. And he'll roll that thing right off of us. Amen? 
Who hath ascended up into heaven? Who hath descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath found the waters in the garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, every word of God is pure. Yes. Ain't he good tonight? Yes. yes Won't he do it? Yes. Won't he do it? I dare y'all to take a praise break this week sometime. Amen. Yes. 8.30, we pray it every night. Come on, y'all. If we all get together and rally together in yeah. prayer, it's nothing that we can't do. Exactly it's right. nothing that the church can't accomplish. Amen. 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 If we would bond together yes. and pray and seek his face and his righteousness. Amen. Amen. I love you tonight. I appreciate you. And I'm going to dismiss us in prayer. Lord, I thank you for your word tonight. I thank you that it's truth and it's pure. Lord, I pray that you would help us to keep ourselves in line with your word. Lord, that we can stay in your presence each and every day. Lord God, that when we come into your presence, all of this flesh and all the sin and all the cares of the world and everything else around us just fades away and your glory takes over. Lord, I pray revival over Clearview Gospel Mission in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray revival over this house, uh, that it would go forth and it would be a sound of revival. Lord, that we would be, we would not be afraid or ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but we would proclaim it, uh, declare it, and we would decree it, uh, and we would set it in motion in the ones around us. Lord, I pray for Danny and Susan tonight. I ask that you would bless them. Bless them as they lead this body. Bless them, Father. Give them what they need each and every day. Feed them from your manna on high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen.